Hey everybody. It's about 5.30. Humidity today was 73%. And it was well in the hundreds out here in the middle of the day. It was a really hot day. It was terrible. Uh, I got my little AC unit. It doesn't vent anywhere. It just produces a nice you know, stream of cold air. And uh, I got my big fan up there, which just blows air around at random. Doesn't really do a whole lot. And if you guys know, <laughs> once the air temperature is over 98.6 degrees, it becomes relatively impossible for your body to cool itself because there's nowhere that, for the heat and or energy coming out of your body to go into the air. That guy right there, that thing is bad. If, if I didn't have that blowing directly on me every single solitary place I went throughout the day, I'd die. There's no doubt in my mind. Here's some stuff I picked up from your, uh, from your donations. Uh, if you look at the B36 around the flight engineer over top, around the uh, Astrodome mount, you'll see these snaps, three eighths inch snaps. And that's so they could attach the various curtains. Uh, they had a curtain that went all the way around the Astrodome so the, the navigator could get up there and use his light and not blind the pilots. And hit the pilot's instruments wouldn't blind his, you know, doings. And the same thing for the flight engineer. Anyways, a lot of the snaps are on steel belts. I'm not st aluminum, like channel, little strips. Boop, boop, boop. Well, some of them are on nylon. So I got this nylon and I'm going to press them every, I haven't determined how, how the distance between the two spacing, I mean, about inch and a half to two inches. So there's a lot of detail that's going to be coming alive in the, uh, around the flight engineer station here soon. But here's what I did today. Uh, yesterday I was talking about bulkhead 3.1 and I woke up this morning and I said, you know what, we just need to finish these fuselage sides because if the back is sagging and I got all these two by fours and stuff, it, it just don't make any sense. So I ripped off the skin. Well, I didn't rip it off. Took it off gently. And uh, first thing I did was make this wall right here. This wall, as I've explained in other videos, runs with this longer on and he ties in at 3.1 and he runs all the way to 1.1, which is directly behind the flight engine or the, the pilot's uh, main instrument panel. Uh, that is like the main structural element and that defines how everything around here works. Um, I'm confident that's exactly where it needs to be. Um, I have measurements from this surface down to it and it travels right up under here. But one thing that I've mentioned that I have not modeled on this is this wall that attaches directly to that longer on and it runs and you can't see it but right there it kind of like wise off it widens out to allow for these compartments up there and that longer on continues up under there and it's got this wall so behind these compartments there's that wall that continues all the way to bulkhead 1.1 and it's got a big hole in it every two or two or so feet but that's what that wall would you know look like nothing much but it's there i just i did not know about that wall before i built that and i don't want to go back and rip that stuff out to put that wall in there but it is right here so this will kind of fare into that right there this is really confusing in the real aircraft there's so much going on because this is where the um the bathroom is um this would actually be well this is the ceiling of it but your head would probably be about right there and your body would go down there's plenty of room that drops down but otherwise there's just boxes and struts that for the uh because right here is where the um the prop synchronizer lives and he's got a big mount that goes there and ties into here just a lot going on uh i think i misspoke yesterday saying that this was the main heat duct that's not possible i'll show you in a minute why what I think this is, is it breaks off from the, from the main and comes up here. And this is what takes care of, I'll show you over here. Oh, stop the phone. 
Like I said, I'm no editor. We'll live. This continues here and then here. Nope, here it's a tube and it runs up and delivers air up there. So I'm pretty sure that's what that does. And then it ties off again for the heat ducts that run up around here that go into both clear vision panels on either side. <laughs> I, I might model that, I might not, I don't know. But the big tube that runs down there, which goes in the entire glazing and can go down into the bomber navigation is right here. So he goes down through there. But uh, here's what I did here today. Uh, what happened was, I, I didn't really go into it, but when I moved this thing around, I had to turn it around because I was not gonna try to do all that work with it up against my shelving over there. This actually fell. And when it fell, the bulkhead on the flight engineer station pushed down on it. And the reason that happened was because this doohickey right here, which is where the flight engineer would put his big clipboard, it had to clear this launcher on. And there's no way for this launcher on to have been on this side of it because that would have put it well into here and I knew that wasn't accurate. And it couldn't have been too far out here because that's where 3.1 ends. So it had to be there. So something had to give. So I cut a big hole in it, and of course, that destroyed the integrity of that Longeron, and it went whoop when it fell off the platform when I moved it because it just was not cooperating. But it's fixed now. I got this bulkhead. Uh, I don't even know what bulkhead that is at this point. It's a bulkhead. But it's in there, and this thing is just, it's a tank. It's ready to have the skin put on. I'm going to put more uh, of these structural things here, there. I still have to tie that right there. And then I'm going to put one right here. And uh, once I cut all this stuff off here, it'll be able to just slide onto the flight deck when I build it. <laughs> Looks good on paper, I know, right? But uh, let's see if I can get you a view over here of... Yeah. Not a whole lot there. Uh, there's really nothing that goes there, nothing that goes there. I need to rebuild that compartment there because it's too thin, because I thought the, because of the Longeron. Uh, it was, whenever I built that, I built it too close and I pulled it out a little bit because, you know, that was thin air right there. I really didn't know what I was doing. But I do now, and I just got to make that deeper. And then, uh, of course, there's specific fasteners that they use that I'll duplicate, but that's going to be done really, really soon. And there's really nothing going on as far as aesthetics that uh, that go beyond that point right there. It literally cuts off right there on the aircraft just like that, and it's obscured by the, uh, the flight engineer auxiliary panel. And of course, you're never gonna, you're not even going to see all that because there's a big fairing that goes over all of that kind of comes out a little bit right there runs about right there so that's my story and i'm sticking to it i'll see y'all next time